Hi everyone, this is part two of the 3D X-Wing video. Sorry it's been a while trying to get this bit up, but I wanted to get all the little details figured out on the plane before I shared it with you. Uh, in addition to this video, I'll be providing link to a thread below, which will go through some build details and provide a link to the plans. A couple bits to note about the build. The first is that I've made the nose removable. Since landing is, is somewhat of a challenge, you have to set it back down on the tails. Um, which usually results in the plane either tipping forward or backwards and, and crunching the nose. And we're coming in, we're coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Whoa. Yes! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I made it so that the, the nose can rip off if it uh, hits the ground at all. So there's just a few pieces of hook side Velcro on the nose side and loop side Velcro on the plane side and that makes it so that it's both easy to transport and allows it to, to you know kind of break apart if you happen to have a less than perfect landing. Now in addition to being helpful for landing this also makes it helpful for transport. So one of the more difficult things about an X-Wing is figuring out how to, to carry it to the field and how to store it when you're not flying it. And with the long nose you can't really set it down on the nose you can't really set it down like this because of the anhedral, the bottom wings. And so the easiest way to store it is take nose off, collapse the little laser cannons, and then set it down on the main spars. Another thing to note are those laser cannons. And so they don't really add much to the flying, but they look cool. And for this, I just made them out of regular plastic drinking straws that I covered in some white tape. And on the airplane side, I used the same diameter straw with a slit cut into it. And this allows you to slide the straw in and for storage you can push it back for flight you can push them all out and it's a really convenient way to have these little bits hanging off the end which sometimes can you know grab on the grass or get ripped off and so this allows you to, to pack up the plane and throw it in your car for easy transport. Now all the main structure of the aircraft is built out of 9mm EPP foam um, and all the stiffeners are done with some, some laser cut basswood. So you have a nine millimeter spar for each wing section, which you install on the wing first. And you'll see pictures of that in the build thread. And then you have one plywood center section piece, which is cut, which sets all the angles and serves as the motor mount. Now I'll put the battery in, put the nose back on and show you guys some of the functions of the plane. This plane can be set up on any six channel receiver. There's four Elevon servos, which are mounted directly to each Elevon. And I've provided drawings for each one of those control horns so that you can cut your own. And it's got two motors. And these are, you know, 250 size race quad motors. Uh, anything in the probably 2000 to 2500 KV range will work fine. And I run them on five inch three blade props. The battery on this airplane is a four cell, 850 milliamp hour LiPo. You can use three cell if you don't wanna do crazy aerobatics, but I like the, the punch and kind of extreme vertical that the four cell gives you. Now controls are set up for Elevon. So you got up, down, right roll, left roll, and then Mixing is set up so that you get both throttles to go at the same time. So this throttle's in the throttle channel, this throttle's in the gear channel, and they're mixed together so they both go at once. Now the cool thing is that because you have two motors, you can use that for yaw control. So there's another mix setup which allows you to tie your yaw command into more throttle on one side, less throttle on the other. And as you'll see in the flight videos, this allows you to do these sort of crazy pirouetting maneuvers on these really tight flat spins. Now, there's no special mixing for the Elevons. There's just uh, a Y cable that connects the two servos on each side into the same servo output. There's no stability augmentation on this plane. Um, so you don't need a gyro, you don't need a flight controller. It's set up to fly um, just like you would set up a normal airplane. Now one option that the builder has is how you want to set up the fins on the bottom. So because you have all this area up front on the nose, 
you need some extra surface area in the back to counteract that. The, the drawings show the outlines for these fins. I've made them out of clear Lexan so that they don't show up, but you can make them out of the same foam as the rest of the plane. I've experimented with a bunch of different geometries and this one ends up being the best. I will say out of all the sci-fi planes I've done so far, this one is probably the most approachable. So if you ever wanted to build one of my planes, this is probably where I would recommend starting. It's a relatively simple build. All the lines are all straight. There's no kind of complex curves. It goes together and self jigs with some of the, the plywood alignment features. And it's just a really nice flying airplane. I'm gonna follow up with some flight video with me kind of commenting over some of the maneuvers and how it flies. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comment section below. <laughs>